voters in New Jersey gave the thumbs up to recreational use of marijuana back in November. But this is New Jersey. Change does not come easily. There are laws that will usher in a new industry based on equity and will reinvest dollars into communities. The long journey to legalize the recreational use of marijuana in New Jersey ended Monday when Governor Phil Murphy signed into law a package of bills aimed at addressing two needs, increasing tax revenues and decriminalizing the possession of small amounts of marijuana. Amol Sinha is executive director of the New Jersey branch of the ACLU. This is hugely significant for racial justice reasons. In New Jersey, uh, we arrest black folks for marijuana possession at a rate that's 3.5 times greater than white folks, even though we know that both groups use it about the same. The holdup until now, hammering out the penalties for underage use. The Garden State now joins more than a dozen other states across the country where it's okay to light up recreationally, no medical need necessary. Former state legislator John Wisniewski. The legislation now gives you basically three warnings. Uh, that's where, you know, the first warning is kept in a file. Second warning goes to your parents. Third warning, you get referred to a treatment facility, a counseling facility. Um, hopefully we'll see, you know, uh, uh, ample amounts of messaging about when to use marijuana and how to use marijuana responsibly. At the Rise Dispensary in Patterson, New Jersey, where the medical marijuana business is thriving, the senior vice president of Green Thumb Industries, Rise's parent company, predicts the new law will create a formidable economic engine for the entire state. We should see a huge ramp up in um, job creation, which is great. And then, of course, we will see a meaningful influx of state um, tax revenue and local tax revenue. Patience continues to be part of the equation. Rise does not expect to begin selling marijuana recreationally off of its shelves until shelves until next year. We're live in Patterson, New Jersey tonight. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.